this morning. But are you ready? Are you really ready to meet him if he was to come today? We got things on our mind. We got some dishes in the sink that need to be washed. And we got a pole in my uh, uh, driveway that needs to be took out and it uh, I put another gate on it. It's been broke off. That's been on my mind. But I'll tell you what, if that's on my mind more than meeting God after a while, I've got a problem. I'm not worried about that pole. I don't care if I don't ever get another gate up there to keep the dogs out of my yard. I'm not worried about that. What I'm worried about is my name being written in the Lamb's Book of Life. I'm worried about Him coming and I'm not ready. But thank God I accepted Him as my Lord and Savior. He's in my heart. I'm waiting for Him. And soon and very soon we're going to leave earth for a gravitation. We're going to rise to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. And then New Jerusalem it's going to come down from God out of heaven. And I'll tell you what, we're coming back to be with Jesus forevermore. You understand what I mean? Is everybody ready? If you're not ready, while they come back to the music, I'm going to make sure that everybody is ready to go. And you say, well, what can I do? I told you a while ago, if you shall confess in your mouth the Lord Jesus... And believe in thy heart that God raised Jesus from the dead. Thou shall be saved. Jesus is coming soon, friends. The world is in a mess. Whenever they got a senator, and he can't even leave the White House, and this a mob attacks him, we're living in perilous times. We're living in perilous times. No matter what this world says, and like I said, I'm not going to get on all that, but I'm going to tell you what you can do. You can be ready to go this morning. And I want to let everybody know, after Jesus comes, after we rise to meet the Lord in the air, there's going to be a thousand-year reign with Christ. And I want everybody to know, too, after all them things happen, there's going to be a great white throne judgment. I'm sure you know all that. And I'm going to read a little bit about the great white throne judgment. And he said, I saw a great white throne. And him that sat on it, from whose face the earth and the heavens fled away, and there was found no place for them. And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God, and the books were open. And another book was open, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the book according to their works. And the sea gave up the dead which were in it. And death and hell delivered up the dead that were in them. And they were judged every man according to his works. Listen to this. This is after the rapture gone. After the rapture done took the church up. And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. Then this is the second death. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. And just before that, I've been reading a lot of this this week. Just before that, the devil was bound for that thousand years. And after he was bound for a thousand years, the great angel come and got him. And throwed him in the lake of fire. And according to what the word of God says, he burnt forever and ever. 